Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and today we're going to be talking about another observation regarding the universe and how things seem to be a little bit different from how we imagined them to be. This time, by observing the rotation of various galaxies across the universe, one of the scientists discovered a strange and unexplained pattern. Let's talk about this and welcome to What The Math. So there does seem to be something unusual going on with the structure of the universe, something the scientists currently can't explain. It actually all kind of started back in 2005-2006 when the scientists reported that there was a, a very unusual observation coming from the so-called cosmic microwave background, the most ancient light in the universe, that seemed to suggest that the universe had directions and also seemed to even have poles, kind of like in a sense, axis of rotation or some sort of axis around which things were spinning. And this by itself led to quite a lot of different counter studies and different discussions that haven't really resulted in anything since. This is still sort of unexplained. At the same time, several other studies even discovered a lot of other unusual patterns, like for example, changes in various constants, uh, such as the cosmological constant, across the universe. In other words, things in the universe don't seem to act or they don't seem to be in the way we always believed them to be. Even though we always assumed the universe itself was sort of isotropic, it's more or less equal everywhere, it's sort of uh, chaotic and unpredictable and doesn't really have any structure, a lot of various observations from the past few years suggest otherwise. Some of the scientists even coined this unusual and somewhat inappropriate term axis of evil to explain the unusual observations of what seem to be poles or basically the axis of rotation, but not for a galaxy, not for a star system, for the entire universe. Now, just to add to all of this, the recent discovery coming from the Kansas State University discovered something else unusual that is going to be really difficult to disprove. Mostly because it's really easy to observe using any telescope. Essentially, this time the scientists behind this paper looked at the spin of different galaxies. And just to explain this to you really easily, so, okay, if you were to look at any galaxy out there in the universe from our perspective here on Earth, you would see it spinning either this way, which is counterclockwise, or you would see it spinning this way, which would be clockwise. Now, if the universe is basically same everywhere, it's isotropic, it's sort of equal and chaotic and unpredictable, you would statistically find both clockwise and counterclockwise galaxies in pretty much equal amounts across the entire universe. So no matter where you look in every direction, you should be able to see the equal amount of counterclockwise and clockwise galaxies, or spinning galaxies that is. But if you were to try to count all of this by hand, it would basically take you your whole life and even longer. So this is why the scientists behind this particular paper use the automated search system, specifically the two telescopes known as PanSTARS or Panoramic Survey Telescope and Rapid Response System and SDSS or Sloan Digital Sky Survey. Both of these systems are set up to search for various features automatically and can basically search through millions and millions of galaxies or really any other objects within only a few minutes or possibly hours. And this is something that scientists have used many times in the past as well. And so by using these two telescopes, the researcher behind this paper decided to take a look at really just one feature. He wanted to investigate the spins of galaxies in terms of direction. And to his surprise, he discovered there was a pattern, specifically several different patterns. And if you were to summarize his discoveries in one picture, it would look something like this. Here this shows you the entire night skies and every single color denotes the chance for a certain spin to be either more clockwise or more counterclockwise. And it seems that there are certain directions in the night skies where there is a prevalence for, for example, clockwise or counterclockwise galaxies. And in this case, it's not just two axes either, it seems to be a multipole direction. In other words, if you were to look in a certain direction in the universe, you would discover that galaxies in this particular part would spin more clockwise. Whereas if you were to look in the exactly opposite direction, you would find them to spin counterclockwise. And there's at least one more direction that seems to have a very similar pattern. Now this currently has no explanation, but there's one little thing I need to um, kind of add to all of this. 
the actual differences are not really super dramatic. We're not talking about like all of the galaxies here spin clockwise and all of the galaxies in the opposite direction spin counterclockwise. The actual difference is only about 1% or so. So if statistically we kind of imagine the galaxies in this direction to spin 50% clockwise and counterclockwise, in his study he discovers that about 51% of galaxies spin clockwise, whereas 49% spin counterclockwise. So it's really only a 1% difference, but by chance it's almost impossible for this to happen. The, the chance is only like 1 in 1 billion. So as it stands right now, it's pretty much almost uh, completely impossible for this to be a chance. It's very likely that something is going on here, especially because when looking at various galaxies he discovered that nearby galaxies, the galaxies relatively close to us, were more or less um, equally distributed. The basically isotropy of the nearby universe was pretty high. Whereas once you move further and further back in time to the earlier universe, the chance for this clockwise slash counterclockwise positioning increases quite dramatically. And this does have a really important implication. All this basically suggests that back um, then, back when the universe was still younger, something was governing its, in, I guess in a sense, spin. Something was changing its direction and it may have even been spinning altogether. Or the early universe was a lot more orderly and a lot more structured than the current universe. And this is, of course, something we currently cannot explain. And this is something we've been discovering more and more in the last few years. It has no explanation, we don't really know what's happening, but it does seem to suggest that there is a bit more order to the universe than we originally assumed. So when the universe was just created right after the Big Bang, the actual structure was much more orderly and may have even been spinning. Now there are possibly other explanations to what exactly is causing these unusual observations and these patterns, and more specifically what's causing these galaxies to spin in one direction or the other, and one potential explanation here that doesn't involve basically an explained phenomenon um, is essentially the so-called cosmic web, also known as the cosmic filament. The cosmic web um, sort of forms a really really specific structure across the universe, and we do believe that it does have some kind of a pattern going on, we just don't really know what it is yet. This particular cosmic web is responsible for, well, actually governing how galaxies behave, how they spin, and more specifically, in the last few years we've discovered that the cosmic web is responsible for causing distant galaxies, quasars as they're known, to assume a certain rotation and a certain position ac across the cosmic web, and it even causes them to spin in a very specific direction. This is something we've observed several times now, so we know that something is definitely going on there. So there is a slight chance that maybe we're just aligned with the cosmic web in such a way that in one direction the galaxies are spinning more clockwise, in the other one they're spinning more counterclockwise. So it could be just the actual axis of the cosmic web itself, not really some kind of an unexplained rotation of the universe. However, it's still too early to tell and we definitely need a lot more follow-up studies on this particular observation, which really shouldn't really be that hard because observing the spins of galaxies is pretty easy, to try to determine what's happening here and what exactly did the scientists here discover. But as of right now, it's yet another mystery of the universe. More specifically, the mystery of the order of the early universe. Something we didn't really know or think existed. And if this study actually did find something and the early universe was more orderly and was even spinning, there's going to be a lot more investigation we're going to need to do to try to discover why it was spinning, what exactly um, caused it to stop spinning, and more importantly, did this actually produce all of the other unusual anomalies we're observing or have observed in the past, and can we basically explain all of this, including the changes in constants for example, as these unusual poles and these unusual axes of rotation of the entire universe. And of course, if this is all correct, then it would also suggest that our current understanding of the universe is a little bit too primitive. We assume that it was isotropic, it was same everywhere, but it seems to be a little bit different. Actually, a lot different. Anyway, on that note, once we discover more and once there are more follow-ups on this particular discovery, I'll make sure to follow this up with another video. But until then, thank you for watching, I'll see you tomorrow, come back tomorrow to learn something else, subscribe if you still haven't and share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, and maybe consider supporting this channel on Patreon, it does help me quite a lot. 
I'll turn away you can also support this channel by buying the wonderful person t-shirt that you can also find in the description below. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow, space out, and as always, bye bye.